The closely held business in all likelihood will be divided by looking at who's the primary person engaged in that business. If I've got an engineering firm, uh, the engineer is most likely to be the party who's going to be awarded that asset. Then the problem becomes, what's the value of the asset? Closely held businesses uh, in Texas get valued, and you have to separate out the enterprise goodwill, which is, okay, how many people come to this business because of the business versus the personal goodwill? How many people come to this business because this is the engineer they want to talk to? Depending upon those kinds of numbers, it affects the value of the business. Once you get the valuation done, uh, typically you have to come up with a methodology for equalizing the division of the estate. I'll give you an example. I had a case where um, the business was worth about $8 million, but we didn't have $4 million in the bank to award to the wife, and so we had to come up with a mechanism for getting her paid off over time. And that's pretty common in a closely held business case. Thank you.